Well, the Minister of Health and the Attorney General and some parliamentary secretaries had an announcement in Ottawa this morning setting up the task force under the leadership of Anne McClellan to come forward with ideas for legislation which will be public health fr uh, friendly and safe for everybody. In the meantime, though, the Attorney General, and I think I have a clip here of what she had to say. Let's just listen in to what she said about the current status. It is important for Canadians to remember, however, that while this process unfolds, the current criminal laws on marijuana remain in force. Production and possession of marijuana are illegal unless it has been authorized for medical purposes. The Government of Canada supports efforts by federal, provincial and municipal law enforcement to enforce these laws. Okay, there's the Attorney General and she is saying that all these um, storefront places selling marijuana are illegal. I'm joined now by Mark Emery, the so-called Prince of Pot marijuana activist. Thanks for coming in. You heard that clip. What do you think of that? Well, they're continuing to spend taxpayers' money arresting peaceful, honest people. Um, How are they honest if they're buying <laughs> illegal drugs from an illegal place? The First law all, is the law. Well, but the law is only the law. It's not the test of morality. Um, there were laws against giving out contraceptives until that was broken. Women couldn't vote and they had to run into the polls. Until the law changed. It. And Morgenthaler, yeah, but he changed it. He right. changed, Morgenthaler changed the law by they disobeying They say they're going to change the law, but until the law is changed, they say we can't have a lawless society. Now, Martin Luther King once said, justice delayed too long is justice denied. So We've are you saying the government's dragging its feet on this? I'm saying the government's had the wrong policy for 48 years, and it's largely been liberal governments that had this prohibition. So when they talk about that so-called criminals are making money from marijuana, that's their fault. They came up with this bad law 48 years ago. That Two wrongs now... don't make a right, though, do they? It does, it's actually. It's their fault. Be... That doesn't mean that they can allow it go on. To no, go on. because, yeah, but they're still wrong. They've been wrong for 48 years, and they're still wrong now. We're right. We've always been right. Marijuana should never have been illegal. It should never have been restricted and prohibited. And so we are advocating the same position we've had for 48 years. Mar Marijuana is safe. It's not harmful. We don't create harm. They're using taxpayers' money to persecute us immorally. Okay, but the fact is, the federal law, the criminal law, is that you can't sell marijuana for those who need medical marijuana. There's a process in place. Mm -hmm. I don't know of anybody who uh, needs medical medical marijuana who cannot get it. It seems to be quite easily obtainable. But so only 60,000 Canadians can get medical marijuana. What are the millions of other Canadians supposed to do? You're talking about recreational. Smoke, yeah, what, well, that's what most Canadians smoke in. Absolutely, but that's not law. Uh, no, law but where are they yet. supposed to get it? Well, if it's illegal, you're not supposed to do it. Well, that's, that's ridiculous. And our stores exist to provide an outlet for those Canadians 19 and over who want marijuana, who are entitled to marijuana and ought to be able to buy it as a first-class citizen. Mark, why do you say they're entitled when the law of the, can of the land is that this is illegal? You can't go and buy it in a storefront. Yeah, but it's illegal in every country on earth. That doesn't make it right. Marijuana is a wonderful beneficial plant. Right. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's the law. Yeah, but Until my... the law has changed, is it not good and, and, and responsible to advise your, 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 your friends, the, the, these users, that, you know what, listen, you keep on doing this, you're going go to be fined or go to jail. Wait until the laws change. Well, we know that. I've been in 34 prisons that. and jails for pot. Well, the laws didn't stop me then. Do you like being then. in jail? Did I like being in jail? Yes, for a good cause, I do. Well, I'm sure it's a lot of people It's better to be a free didn't. man in jail than a prisoner out here being told what to do by a government that's completely corrupt, has always had the wrong policy on marijuana, continues to this day to have the wrong policy on marijuana. And when they change the law so that stores are allowed to set up on Queen Street here and sell marijuana to people 19 and over without any interference, without all these usurious taxes they want to put in, and they want to give it to their crony so, friends, so too. So Justin Trudeau's government is corrupt? Oh, absolutely. Okay, and secondly... Look at the task force. Anne McClellan, the biggest marijuana hater in the history of the last 30, 40 years, is in charge of this task force. But he force. is committed, though, to saying, I'm going to uh, make it legal. On his terms. On his I terms. I want it legal so on our terms. That. You want on your terms, so yes. it's in all the storefronts. You point out here on Queen Street. What if they came and they say it's only available through some sort of LCBO? Totally unacceptable. We'll keep breaking the law. We're going to keep chatting about this. Mark, thanks very much. Thanks for coming in.